Book Summary by Teddy Bear Storytime Ghost Hunter is the sixth book in Michelle Paver's Chronicles of Ancient Darkness series. Set in a prehistoric world, the novel continues the story of Torak, a boy who can communicate with animals, particularly his wolf companion. The series takes place in a hunter-gatherer society where magic, spirits, and deep connections with nature govern everyday life. In this concluding installment, Torak must face the most dangerous and final challenge of all, vanquishing Yostra, the last of the evil soul eaters. As Torak, Ren, and Wolf journey to the Mountain of Ghosts, they confront deadly forces, powerful magic, and their deepest fears. This book brings Torak's journey full circle as he learns crucial lessons about friendship, loyalty, and sacrifice. Characters Torak, the protagonist, a boy with the rare ability to communicate with animals and spirits. He must face the final Soul Eater and his own inner demons. Wolf, Torak's loyal wolf companion who shares a deep spiritual connection with him. Wolf represents Torak's bond with nature. Ren, Torak's best friend and skilled mage from the Raven Clan. She continues to support Torak, showing loyalty and courage. Finkedin, the wise leader of the Raven Clan, who has guided Torak throughout his journey. Book Summary The Final Soul Eater The novel opens with Torak learning that Eostra, the final soul eater, has awakened and is preparing to unleash her most devastating plan yet. Torak, who is still reeling from his previous battles with the other soul eaters, knows that this will be his ultimate test. Eostra's power stems from the Mountain of Ghosts, a place feared by all clans. Determined to stop her, Torak sets out on a journey with Wolf and Ren. As they travel, they sense a growing darkness, and Torak's bond with the spirit world becomes more fragile. Journey to the Mountain Torak, Ren, and Wolf travel through treacherous terrain toward the Mountain of Ghosts. Along the way, they face dangerous creatures, unforgiving weather, and attacks from Yostra's magic. The journey becomes increasingly perilous as Torak's visions intensify, warning him of the immense power they will face. Torak also begins to question himself, wondering if he is truly strong enough to defeat Eostra. Ren remains steadfast, though she is also struggling with her own fear and doubts. Wolf, always loyal, senses the danger and grows protective of his pack brother, Torak. Confronting the Spirits As they near the Mountain of Ghosts, Torak encounters malevolent spirits sent by Yostra to weaken him. The spirits play on Torak's insecurities, trying to break his will. Ren uses her mage skills to help him fight off the spirits, but the battle leaves them both drained. The closer they get to the mountain, the more oppressive the atmosphere becomes. Wolf, too, seems affected by the dark magic, and his bond with Torak is tested. In this section, the themes of trust, fear, and inner strength are explored as Torak must rely on his friends and his own resilience to survive. The Mountain of Ghosts Upon reaching the Mountain of Ghosts, Torak, Ren, and Wolf prepare for the final confrontation with the Ostra. The mountain is an eerie and desolate place, filled with spirits of the dead. Eostra herself is powerful, drawing on the magic of the mountain to enhance her abilities. As Torak faces her, he realizes that defeating her will require not just physical strength, but a deep connection to the spirits and his own sense of self. In a tense and emotional battle, Torak confronts Yostra while Ren and Wolf fight off her minions. The Final Battle The climax of the novel takes place in a heart-stopping battle between Torak and Yostra. As they fight, Yostra tries to manipulate Torak by playing on his grief and his past losses. However, Torak draws on the memories of his loved ones, especially his bond with Wolf, to stay strong. Ren uses her magical abilities to aid Torak, and together they manage to weaken Eostra. In a final, desperate act, Torak makes the ultimate sacrifice to stop Eostra's dark magic. Eostra is defeated, and her reign of terror ends. The Aftermath After Eostra's defeat, Torak, Ren, and Wolf must come to terms with the sacrifices they made. 
Torak, who has grown tremendously over the course of the series, reflects on the importance of his journey. He realizes that while he has lost many friends and faced unbearable challenges, he has gained wisdom and an unbreakable bond with Wolf and Ren. The novel ends on a bittersweet note, with Torak returning to the Raven clan, knowing that he has fulfilled his destiny but also understanding the cost of his victory. Themes Loyalty and Friendship Torak's bond with Wolf and Ren remains central to the story. Their unwavering loyalty to each other is what helps them survive their battles. This theme highlights the importance of trusting and supporting those you care about, even in the darkest times. Sacrifice Throughout Ghost Hunter, Torak and his friends are forced to make difficult sacrifices in their fight against Eostra. The theme of sacrifice is explored both in terms of personal loss and the larger idea of giving up something precious for the greater good. Good versus evil, the conflict between Torak and the Soul Eaters, especially Eostra, represents the classic battle between good and evil. However, the novel complicates this theme by showing that the line between good and evil is not always clear, and even those who fight for good must confront darkness within themselves. Inner strength and resilience, as in previous books, Torak's journey is not just physical but also emotional and psychological. He must find inner strength to face his fears, doubts, and grief. This theme emphasizes the importance of resilience in overcoming life's challenges. Connection to nature and spirits, the series has always emphasized the connection between humans, animals, and the natural world. In Ghost Hunter, this theme is deepened as Torak must rely on his bond with Wolf and his understanding of the spirit world to defeat Eostra. Analysis Character Development Torak undergoes significant growth in Ghost Hunter, particularly in his understanding of sacrifice, leadership, and inner strength. He becomes more mature, accepting the responsibilities of his abilities and the consequences of his actions. Moral Ambiguity the novel explores the complexity of good and evil, showing that even in a clear battle between light and dark forces, the path to victory is fraught with moral dilemmas. Climactic ending, the battle between Torak and Eostra serves as a fitting and intense conclusion to the series, tying together themes of loyalty, sacrifice, and the power of the human spirit. Symbolism of the Mountain of Ghosts, the Mountain of Ghosts symbolizes the final challenge Torak must face both in terms of physical danger and his internal struggles. It is a place where spirits dwell, representing the burden of past traumas and the power of the unknown. Wolf as a symbol, Wolf continues to serve as more than just a companion for Torak. He represents Torak's connection to nature and his primal instincts, reminding Torak of his true self even in the face of overwhelming danger. Conclusion Ghost Hunter is a powerful and emotional conclusion to Michelle Paver's Chronicles of Ancient Darkness. The novel brings Torak's journey full circle as he faces his greatest challenge yet, defeating Eostra and confronting his own inner darkness. Through themes of loyalty, sacrifice, and resilience, the story explores the complexities of good versus evil and the cost of vengeance. Torak's growth as a character is central to the novel, as he learns important lessons about strength, friendship, and the burden of responsibility. The bond between Torak, Wolf, and Ren remains a key emotional thread throughout the story, and the climactic battle against Eostra provides a fitting conclusion to the series. In the end, Ghost Hunter offers a bittersweet reflection on the journey Torak has undertaken, leaving readers with a sense of closure and the enduring power of friendship and courage. The End Love the book summary. Subscribe Teddy Bear's Storytime YouTube channel now. Like the video. Turn on the notifications. And leave your comments. See you in next book.